Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I got a secret for you. Well, specifically, I want to talk to you about GitHub Actions secrets, how to set them up, and how to use them in your build workflows. To demonstrate how GitHub action secrets work, I've seeded this YAML file. You'll notice there's this reference to secrets.secret token. Now that secret token actually hasn't been created yet. So I want to show you how to create that secret token in GitHub actions. All you have to do is go to your repository. You'll notice there's this tab for settings. And in the settings tab, right down there between actions and moderation settings, you'll see secrets. So just click on that. And it couldn't be easier, it just says add a new repository secret. Now, in that previous example, that seeded YAML file, you notice that the reference was to secret token. And so you just put in the name there. And then once the name is in, you just provided a value. So if anybody here is an X Files fan, you will recognize trust no one as the secret passcode. I will click add secret and then it gets committed. Now notice if you actually try and go and update that it doesn't display the value, right? Usually when you update a field, it'll display the value, but obviously it's a secret. It's a, a secret token. You don't want people to see it. So GitHub does a good job of hiding it. And in fact, if we go and take a look at some of our build jobs, you'll notice that even if you try and log information about your, your GitHub action secret, it'll be really adamant not to print that out. So one of the tricks that I wanted to demonstrate here was how to actually print out a GitHub secrets action token. So you'll see here in this little script that I've got, you can see just uh, it's a GitHub action secrets, the name works on the main branch, runs on windows. It's got one step right now. I'm going to add a couple more, but here all I want to do is echo out, print out to the logs, the value of the secret. Now, if you just say secrets.secret token, and by the way, that's how you actually reference the token. I'm going to use an environment variable, GitHub actions environment variable for the secret in a moment, but that's how you can reference it directly in your code. If I actually try to do that, it'll mask it. So it won't actually display it, um, but it is in there. So if you kind of play with it a little bit, in this case, I'm just going to take every single character and put a space in between the characters and then you kind of now manipulate this string, it'll print it out. I'll print it out like this. I'll do a commit. My new actions secret example. Let's get a name in there so that we can keep track of what we're doing a little bit easier. That's going to trigger an action. I'll go over here, take a look at it. It's running. It'll just take a moment to run. I'll go secrets in GitHub actions. Step one is running as it tries to print out the secret. And you can see here as it initially tries to print it out when I just said, Hey, print out the secret. What was the line of code that I did? It was just basically, Hey, print it out. You can see it just puts a bunch of asterisks there. It's filtered it. It has blocked from logging the secret, which is good. When I kind of said, when I did a little set command there and said, Hey, you know, put a space in between each of the strings. It, kind of I mean, it tricks GitHub action secrets into actually displaying what the, the trusted secret is. And there you can actually see it right there. So that was kind of a little trick, which I think is kind of cool. Some people might find that interesting, although printing out your secrets is not something that is really recommended. You could lose your job and get sued if you ever put a trusted password or secret in a log file. So be careful of that. But um, for some testing and for just seeing how it works, that's kind of neat. So yeah, that's the command there that I used to print it out. That one there, it just did the masks. Now, a couple more things that you can do. You can actually start using some of these GitHub action secrets in your logic. So I wanted to just show you an example of maybe somebody going in and doing a comparison. So saying, hey, if the secret token is a certain value, then we can run the command. Just a simple example of how to integrate it into your build. So what I've done here, step number two, it's a little conditional if statement, and it's going to check the check the secret variable. I actually hold the secret variable as an environment variable. You'll often see these secrets given a, a, a variable name, and you can use that in your code. And you can see env dot who to trust is how I reference it. And so I set up this variable name for the GitHub action secret. And then in my code, I say, I'm only going to run this particular build step if this condition is true. And the condition is if the 
secret token, if the who to trust variable is equal to trust no one, then this command will run. I know what the secret is. Um, I can do a companion condition as well. And I'll show you how to do the negative there, I guess you could say. And here I say, well, I set things up the same way. I set up an invariable, an environment variable called who to trust. And then I use the not equal to. And I say, hey, if the environment variable is not equal to trust nobody, then echo out, hey, I was wrong. I thought it was trust nobody. But anyways, this is just a little example of using these secret tokens in your code. Here I've even mentioned that I was going to use the bash shell. You don't need to specify that, but uh, sometimes it's nice to, just to put that extra piece of information in there. Okay, so I'll start commit, commit the changes. And let's just take a look at what happens here. I don't think you'll be too surprised, but when we run, when we do the check to see if the secret token is trust no one, it will say, I know what the token is. And when we ask to see if it's trust nobody, it'll say, I was wrong thinking the GitHub actions secret token was trust nobody. Okay, going over to the actions, taking a look at this, hopefully everything ran successfully. It's taking its own sweet time there, which I find it sometimes does when it uses the Windows container. Probably should have used Ubuntu latest there. You can see that's the standard working. You can see right here the condition, I know what the secret token is, so that one worked. And then we tried to test against trust nobody. It now says, hey, I was wrong thinking GitHub secret was trust nobody. And so you can see we've, we've now got that to work as well. And so there you go. That's a quick overview of how secrets and GitHub actions work together and how you can use GitHub action secrets in your YAML files and your build jobs. And there you go. That's how easy it is to integrate secrets into your GitHub action workflows. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We got lots of great tutorials on Git, GitHub, DevOps, enterprise software development, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter and subscribe on YouTube.